I wanted a symbol of the future in the same way that, say, the pyramids are a symbol of the past. I wanted to build something that gave us that sense of connection. And that's how I started thinking about the clock. My name is Danny Hillis, and I'm building a clock that will last for 10,000 years. When I had been a kid, the future had been out in the year of 2000. Even when it got to be in the 1990s, we were still sort of just imagining what the year 2000 would be like. It was almost as if the future had been shrinking my entire life. Danny Hillis sent around an email that he wanted to build a clock that would last 10,000 years. What? 10,000 year clock? Why? Danny had been building some of the fastest supercomputers in the world. He was pretty much the golden boy of MIT. Everybody wanted to do things faster and faster and faster. I needed to slow down, stretch out, think on a different time scale. Any engineer, of course, wants to build something that lasts. But that doesn't mean it's easy to build. How do you make rolling elements that last for 10,000 years? The clock is built out of gears and levers and things that Galileo would have understood. One of the ways we keep the clock accurate is to synchronize it to the sun. That requires a lens like this big around out of quartz. Then, exactly at solar noon, the chimes begin to play. The chime generator was developed by Brian Eno. They worked out a way of ringing 10 bells in a different sequence each day for 10,000 years. From the very beginning, I wanted to be able to make a little model of the clock. Our original prototype clock. And then make a bigger one, and make a bigger one, and make a bigger one. I realized that the clock couldn't go into a building. It had to be in a mountain. In trying to design a 10,000-year clock, we're invested in generational thinking and hoping to kind of answer the question, are we being good ancestors? There is a problem of people not believing in the future. A long-term clock challenges those short-term civilizational stories. I'm very optimistic about the future. I'm not optimistic because I think our problems are small. I'm optimistic because I think our capacity to deal with problems are great.